that's the final glue up done. I've cleaned it up on the belt sander and the belly's just been cleaned and lightly rounded. What I was doing is as I'm moving it around on the belt sander because there were saw marks on the belly I'm actually doing that so I'm waggling it around with that sort of motion just to give a very slightly rounded belly at the moment and to clean off the tool marks still needs a bit of narrowing and shaping but next step will be get it on the tiller I've got my iPad glued on there and I can tell by the force it required to get the string on that it's blinking strong are my calculations any good my estimates what's the draw weight going to be like well let's see <coughs> Well, there you see an immediate problem with a narrow stiff bow. It tried to flip inside out. But if I hold on to it and give it a bit of a pull, I should be able to see. Oh, yeah, I can feel her trying to twist. That's 50, about 10 inches, and she's trying to flip that way. But I can do some arithmetic on that and have a look at it and what have you. Yes, the fundamental problem is it's, it's th thick compared to its width. But I'm grinding some of this belly away. Uh, and I've made it narrow to try and minimise how far the arrow's got to flex around it. But I've got plenty of draw weight to play with. So, see I've written thin there and thick there and I'll grind away the belly on some of the thick bits I'll leave it fairly wide for now but I could certainly feel it trying to flip mind you once I get it far enough back to brace it it will automatically be a bit more stable right what I'm doing here is um, taking some off the belly especially near the tips but also chamfering the edges a lot more to give that more rounded belly and that will help weaken the belly down the edges keep the center line stiff and help it to come back without trying to turn inside out I'll have to turn the sound off because it will be noisy as so. hell see the chamfer I need a bit more off this edge but I'm also going to take some off the sides a bit at an angle so basically trying to make it that D shape you all expect of an English longbow quite nice uh, I'm not a great fan of using a lot of power tools but the iPay is particularly sort of brittle and it does splinter a lot so something like a sander is good and I can see I need to take more off this this edge it's easy because I'm always working from the same side and I'm right handed it's easy to say be biased one way rather than the other it's something you have to watch out for yeah, I just tried it again on the tiller and that's improved it. I've got it back to about 55 pounds at about 13 inches. I could feel it was still trying to flip, but it was much more stable. 
so I'll carry on doing a bit more work like that and I'll get it to a point where I can show it to you on the tiller tricky chaps flight bows the problem is I don't want to take any more of this eye pay off because it's getting relatively thin I don't want it to buckle and obviously with all my calculations and guesstimates I'd erred on the side of having too much draw weight because you can take it off but you, it's harder to put it back on but it looks like it's just going to be too heavy so what do I do? well the answer is back to the old bandsaw I'm just going to saw down this glue line which will remove about one and a half millimetres of wood and glue it back together again now that may sound silly to you boys may sound drastic maybe it would have been all right in terms of draw weight if I hadn't added this extra section in the first place who knows because you can't really go backwards but um, that's what I'm going to do of course once I started I realised it would be silly to try and saw down the glue line so I've just sawn down the middle of the thickest lamination got a bit close to the glue line up in part but um, that should take some draw weight off it I'm just going to glue it, I'm not going to mess around sanding it or anything just glue it straight back together it's a nice clean cut hopefully that will make the draw weight manageable because I just couldn't, I tried to get to a low brace and I just couldn't shift it, it's just too stiff now uh, I'll run it through the bandsaw, I've got it all clamped and glued up again hopefully it will be better now but um, it's an interesting exercise in the difference between the sort of vaguely theoretical and the practical. Sometimes you can do it all by theory, sometimes you can do it all by practice, sometimes it needs a bit of both. Uh, and I know I always go on about how easy it is to make laminates, but of course this is a highly experimental laminate and it's a flight bow. If you've made laminates before and you've got pre-machined laminates and you can just glue them up with a known thickness it's a very quick process anyway we'll see how this goes right i don't normally clamp a bow but because this is a bit unstable until it's back to brace and properly braced i'm doing that to stop it flipping uh, I just need to be able to have a look at it to see what the tiller's like before I try and brace it or move further. Hopefully it won't suddenly flip and jump off the tiller and go bang. Oh, that's not looking bad, is it? So 50 at... Fifty about thirteen. So we're still stiff. Uh, I don't really want to run the bandsaw down it again, or sort of end up with more glue than wood. And maybe it would have been right initially if I'd just put the eye pay on. But that at least gives me a way of estimating where I am at the minute. Did I say fifty at thirteen? Was it? Well, it's obviously 100 at 26, isn't it? Uh, so it's a bit heavy still. Let's have another look at the tiller. Well, it's moving in the middle a bit. 50. That's about 30. I think that's quite a nice shape. I'll have to think about it. 